So what these plans are, guys, is um, they're called equity protectors. Uh-huh. And they're designed to protect your equity, right? You got 50000 in equity and, you know, we fast forward 15 years, could be have 100000 in equity, right? It's just going to grow and grow. Is that making sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what happens if we stop making our mortgage payment every month? We lose the house. That's right. Yeah. So the bank takes it back and we lose our equity. So these are really designed instead of paying off the house um, because it's just pretty expensive at 63 to do that. And they're designed to be more cost effective and be more secure. Like there's zero risk on these ones. Okay. So what they yeah. do is they, they're guaranteed to last the rest of your life. They're never going to expire on you. Okay. <laughs> and then if, if something ever, <laughs> if something ever did happen, They'll pay out and they'll cover that mortgage payment for you, that 822, for a certain time frame. So, like, my mom, she has one on her house. And uh, it's so, you know, her mortgage is pretty expensive. It's like 1400 bucks a month. Well, that's a big chunk of change for me to start paying out, right? Yeah. So, if she dies, I mean, I got my mom's gone, plus I'm grieving. And now I got to start paying a mortgage to make sure there's no foreclosure. So, these plans are really designed to make sure that you guys are protected. Um, You know, in case that does happen, you got some breathing room, you know, you got some room to make some good decisions on a pretty huge investment, you know, a house, right? So they're pretty cool plans because they're always guaranteed to pay out because they never expire on you, okay? Which is pretty cool. So the last the rest of your life, you know you're guaranteed to get a payout because what's the chances of us dying in our whole life? (laughs) 100%, right? Yeah. That makes sense. All right, perfect. We'll grab a pen here. Um, we got this first first policy. It's going to cover the mortgage payments for 24 months if you die of natural causes. Okay, you got that written down? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> sorry, it's 24 months if you die of an accident. I said the wrong thing. 24 months if you die of an accident. Okay. Okay. And then 12 months if you die of natural causes. 12 months natural causes. And 12 months if you go into a nursing home. Because obviously you're not living there anymore. Okay. Okay. Now that plan for Brian is $62.52. A month? A month, yep. Okay, how much again? Sixty-two. Sixty-two dollars fifty-two cents. Okay. And then I'll get the cost uh, for you right now as well. So sixty-three, and that gets you as a non-smoker for the next three years, which is pretty cool. Because if you were a smoker, it was like a hundred dollars a month or something like that. Pretty crazy. Okay. All right. And then for yourself. Uh, that same policy that would protect Brian is forty nine dollars and sixteen cents, and that will get you that non smoker rate for three years. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the next plan we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit more time. Okay. So write down thirty six months. If it was an accidental death, so you don't have to make the mortgage payments for three years, pretty much mortgage free for three years. And that really just buys you some time to either A, you know, refinance the house to be cheaper, B, you know, do a reverse mortgage, you know, maybe you have 50% equity at that point, so you can do a reverse mortgage, or C, you know, time to clear it out, clean it up, fix it, list it, and sell it, and go somewhere else, okay? But at least you don't have to make those decisions right away, all right? We got 18 months for natural causes on this plan, so about a year and a half, and 18 months for a nursing home. Okay, so just giving you guys a little bit more time to, you know, make good decisions, okay? Yeah. All right, so for yourself, Patricia, uh, it's coming back uh, $71.84, okay? And for... What was his on that one? I'm figuring it out right now. Okay. Yeah, I I just already had you pulled up, so... All right. All right. And for Brian, it's coming up $91.88. Okay. Now, 
you know, these are the two plans I see most people tend to go with, but we can go longer. You know, obviously we could go up to 48 months and 24 months, but the price would go up. Do you want to see that one too, or are we good up with these two? I think we're good with these two. Okay. Now, you know, ask me some questions on these guys. I want to make sure we understand them. Uh, is there any other death besides accident or natural causes? There's only two ways we can die. You know, we either die of a disease, which is guaranteed, right? We're all going to die of a disease someday. Or an accident, you know, it's the fourth leading cause of death in the United States right now. It goes COVID, uh, then heart attack, cancer, and then accidents. That's like car crashes, fell off a roof, got, we got shot, something like that would be an accident. So that's really, and then if you're living and you, you need, you know, you're not living there anymore because of a nursing home, well, that'll kick in too, okay? Okay, all right. Does that make sense? So a natural cause is like an illness or... Yeah, like COVID, heart attack, cancer, you know, any of those disease stuffs, so eventually one of those is going to, you know, hit us eventually, right? Well, especially the older you get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's the one thing guaranteed in life, right? I guess there's two things, death and taxes. <laughs> death and taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, you know, the good news on these ones is that they're locked in, you know, the rest of your life. No matter what happens to your health or how old you get, you know, they're guaranteed to pay out. So that's a good thing. So the money yeah. you put into it, you know, it's going to go to each other, not the insurance company. All right. So, so guys, we can't make a decision today because we got to qualify first. And you guys don't each have to get a plan, but... You know, if we if we could qualify for one of these, you know, which one of these do you think makes the most sense? You know, kind of based on protection and affordability. I think the main person is, I mean, Brian could survive if I die. Right. But I would probably lose the house if he died. Well, yeah, especially at 15K. So, yeah, I agree with you. Do you think it would be better for you, you know, maybe just cover Brian, you know, do you think it'd be better for you to have the 36 and 18 months to figure out what to do, or would you rather have the yeah. 24 and 12? Yeah. Thinking probably yeah. the, the, the 36 and 18? Yeah. Okay. Well, what we got to do at this point, like I said, you know, it doesn't make sense to think about something we don't know we can get. Let's just see if they'll approve you, and then I'll get you that 30 days to, to make any changes you want to that, okay? Okay. And then we'll start with Brian, and then if you want to add yourself on, you know, we can always add you later. Does that sound like a fair plan? That sounds good, yeah. Okay. Sound fair to you, Brian? Yeah. Making sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get you approved on this one. Um, I did a quick, you know, look at the charts. Uh, she says you should be good to go, but, you know, like I said, it's up to those insurance companies, you know? Yeah, yeah.